way to go on an ego trip. I'm listening to the audiobook, You Are a Badass. And 10 out of 10 recommend so far. I'm only on chapter like four, but I really like it. So if you haven't tried Audible already, I recommend it because I really like it, especially when I'm commuting. Wow, I think because of this wall, it makes me look really, really yellow. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So I'm sitting in the parking lot and I am going to my TNCC class. And at first I was like bummed because Today is Saturday and I have to spend like half my day here, but I'm actually really thankful that they're still having this class available to us despite everything that's going on. They still consider it an essential class, so I'm actually really thankful that we're able to continue to have this class and still get a chance to learn all this stuff. Um, I, we're supposed to be here at 7.45, but I'm here at 7.48 because this freaking yogurt, I don't know why it took me so long to make. Um, if you don't know, TNCC is trauma nursing, um, it's a trauma nursing course that you can take to get a certification if you're going to work with trauma. Um, and it should be pretty exciting. I actually really miss being in school and it's a nice opportunity to be able to learn some more things, you know? Especially because my hospital paid for this course and it's actually really expensive and I was trying to look into it before I even became an emergency nurse, but it was way too expensive, so that's why I didn't get it. But I'm trying to multitask. I also need to wear this mask because they told us we need to wear one. So that's what I'm going to be wearing. I guess I'll talk to you a little bit about it later because I'm running late. Okay, so now that we're on a 10 minute break, I just wanted to go in the car so I could finally take off my mask. Um, but so far, it's a pretty good class. I'm really, feel like I'm refreshing on a lot because of the fact that I hadn't studied in like a really, really long time. I feel like I should wipe this. But yeah, I think it's really informative right now. We're talking about different shocks and it makes me go back to like critical care and um, friend who's a professional critical care and then also just like patho in general i'm gonna take this off because it's actually really hot and during the class the guy who teaches it is really good he's very informative and tells a lot of like relatable stories which are really cool he was talking about this one story about some kid that he had when he was a picky nurse and how he um was following some nurse and he couldn't find the nurse so he had to go to the doctor and essentially what was happening, this kid came back from heart surgery and he was like seven or eight years old. And essentially what happened was he, you could see his SpO2 drop, his heart rate was dropping and he was like fresh out of surgery. So he went to this old, old doctor who, you know the older doctors, you know they're very, very old. So obviously he like comes by real slow like nonchalantly puts on his stethoscope and then goes to listen to the lungs and then goes to check the monitor looks at the kid and meanwhile like the obviously the guy is like freaking out because now this kid's all dusky but essentially what he does he takes off the stethoscope two wipes of the chest right under the I forgot something xiphoid process grabs this really long ass needle puts it in the chest and then lo and behold they get a shot of like blood and this blood's like shooting into the syringe and obviously he must be in the right place because all of a sudden you see the shot of SpO2 and then the shot up of the heart rate so obviously this guy was successful Obviously the guy probably told a better story because he actually experienced it for himself, but that's the gist of the story and that was um, some kid with cardiac tamponade and then the doctor performed the pericardial synthesis. I haven't heard that word in the longest time because we never get that much trauma because we're obviously not a trauma center. Interesting. I really need to use the restroom. <sighs> Hopefully, 
I don't know how long this class is gonna be, but it's supposed to be eight hours. But if you've ever taken an ACLS, BA, PALS class, BLS, any of those classes, you know how that goes. So I'll see you guys maybe in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back from our second session, our second part of the session. It is so hot right now. Um, how sad to spend a day indoors. <laughs> But it's only like 11.15 and I think we're like halfway done because it's lunchtime. We're supposed to be back at 12.15 but I might come back early hoping that we'll start earlier. I do want to get some Starbucks. I think I'm going to get an iced coffee. Hopefully something's open. If you don't know, now you know that Starbucks is offering free iced coffee. And I think I'm just gonna get it with equal so that I can be like a little bit healthier. Um, and the closest drive through is like five minutes away. But I'm actually learning a lot. And there's also like a lot of portions where, oh my gosh. There's a lot of portions where I, I'm just getting a lot of review, which is good because I haven't learned or relearned in a long time and it's, different learning as a student than learning as a nurse. Look at this line, it's unbelievably long. Either find something else. I kind of just want to see if there's a grocery store that I can like pick up some like bottled coffee or something like that. But I have fried rice. The um, fried rice from King's Hawaiian. Oh my God, it's so good. I shit you not, this is the line at every single Starbucks. It's like insanely long. And I don't know if it's just because every other Starbucks is like closed. Like I know they have a lot of locations that are closed. I think there's a Target over there. And then like a Sprouts on the other side. It's like insane what's going on right now. And I feel bad for our instructor because it must be so hard to teach with one of these things on. So he keeps having to like take it off and put it back on. So now I kind of understand why like classes aren't in session. Because so it's really hard to. But our class is really small, fortunately. There's only five students and then one teacher, so. It's like people are still lining up despite the fact that it's such a long line. And I guess it's because of the fact that no one really has anything to do because it's obviously Saturday. But I think it's really cool because it's getting me a better idea of like assessment skills. Now that I finished that, I'm gonna drink some water and then we'll get my kombucha. What do I want? Mm. Apples doesn't sound appealing to me. Maybe the raspberry biscuits. This one's good. Okay, so it took a little bit longer than expected, but I did get my kombucha and I'm gonna head on over back. Hopefully, my goal was to get back by 12 and I think I just might make it because right now it is 11.49. I just wanted something to like sip on while I'm in class because I don't really know how long, how much longer it's gonna take, but technically it can take up to another four hours. Kombucha's really expensive. I don't really know why. I guess it's because it has all those like, um, live probiotics. That's why it's so expensive. So this one is the raspberry hibiscus. I used to hate kombucha, but I would drink it for the aesthetic. This one obviously has no aesthetic at all whatsoever. So now I just drink it because I think it's, it helps with my digestion. All right, y'all, we're back and I'm still wearing this damn mask. My hair is a mess. That I am so exhausted during the daytime nowadays, which is so sad. I feel like an old woman, but jet lagged. So it's like, times two. It's nice that we review as we go through the class. So the biggest thing is the TNP, which is the trauma nursing process. 
which is like, I'll talk more about it when I remember it because my notebook is inside, but it's like, oh, get your equipment, do your assessment, airway, breathing, circulation, what is it? Airway, breathing, circulation, disability, exposure, environment, uh, BCDE. I don't know what F is. Okay, well, thankfully somebody that went on a Starbucks run, so I have coffee for today. Stop. But I think what I'm gonna do for now, since I just got back and it's only like 3.30, I'm gonna edit a little bit of the vlog that you're watching now, and you can probably feel it shaking because you're balancing on a water bottle. I did a little bit of the vlog just so that I can stop thinking for a little bit. And then I'll kind of kind of demonstrate what I learned in TN, TNCC because we're gonna be tested tomorrow morning and we scheduled times for us to come in. So my time block is the very first one at 8 a.m. And we it's supposed to only take 15, 20 minutes as long as we do it correctly so I'm gonna review it and then after I review it I'm gonna go and like talk you through it on camera I think that should help me study and hopefully it'll help someone who also wants to do TNCC so we're gonna do that but first I'm gonna just edit a little bit because I don't know I like to edit as I go throughout my day and then also I, I videotaped a lot on my phone and I like to delete a lot of the things on my phone as I, as the day progresses. Okay, so these are the notes that I took from like this COVID webinar, webinar <laughs> that I got like one CEU from. And it was like for one hour. Okay, so here are my notes. So I put this here. Stop the bleeding and keep them breathing because that's your essential goal in trauma nursing. And these are my notes. I'm going to summarize my whole TNP, which is essentially this right here. I'm going to rewrite it over here, including all the things I need to include. So we're going to do that right now. And then I'm going to review it with you guys and kind of talk you through it. finally finished my thing and this is what we're gonna do my assessment on my little Dumbo thing that I got from Disneyland which makes me sad because I miss Disneyland oh, you can't even see me so first you have to initiate the trauma do the trauma scene scene team and then we have to dump PPE and to gather our equipment so once we're doing that and then we want to observe to see if there's any uncontrolled so you're going to assess to check if there's any uncontrolled bleeding if there's none then you just continue to your abc so the first one is airway so in airway you're going to check for the um if there's anything in the mouth any emesis teeth um if there's any tongue that's blocking the airway problems you could use the jaw thrust breathing you could do the rise and fall of the chest um, you can auscultate the lung sounds. You can listen for wheezing. A lot of times you can hear it without the set scope. If they have any breathing problems, you want to put a breathe, a non or breathe on them, just depending on, or a uh, nasal cannula, non or breather, or if they need to be intubated. So check rise and fall chest, um, lung sound. There you want to check circulation. So you're going to be checking for the skin color, patency of the IVs, um, distal and central pulses. So then you can go to D, which is disability, which is neuro. So GCS, pupils, um, and that. What else can you do? Oh my god, what's the other one? It's just... Head CT. So GCS, obviously neuro, you always want to get them a head CT, usually in trauma. 
be exposure so you remove all their quotes and you know cut this one bandana that this thing has and expose them to make sure there's nothing that we're missing obviously you don't want to sway them back and forth like that um, cut that and then you're gonna make sure there's nothing that we're not seeing any hiding stab wounds etc etc from there you want to warm the patient so blankets or um, warm fluids through the IV. I'm going to get a full set of vitals, update the family, G, so you're going to get, um, this is the one I always miss, so you're going to do lab work like blood, lactate, um, type in cross if they need it for blood transfusion, uh, I don't know what M is, so, or orphangeal 2, O, P, I got monitor, so you just monitor. Oxygen is O, and the big one was pain assessment and management. So that's the big one that I missed. Technically, the way our instructor told us to do it, that's like the main gist of it. I'm not going to bore you to tears with the secondary portion of it, but that's the gist of it. And our instructor told us every time we messed up, which I like obviously just did, that we should go back up and restart it so that within an hour or two we can get the whole assessment done. Yeah. If I don't end up talking to you guys later, you can think my... I forgot what we named him. I think we named him George when Alex won me this at Disneyland. But thanks, George. I'll update you via my Instagram um, more than likely because I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I get really nervous of hard test. And this is like a test. And then we also have an online portion that's going to be available to us after we take our physical exam. It reminds me a lot of physical assessment class, so it shouldn't be that bad. The guy said it shouldn't be that bad, and he seems really nice. Um, but other than that, that's going to be it for this vlog. If you guys have any other questions, leave them down below or shoot me an Instagram DM. If you follow me, I'm going to leave my socials right here. Follow me at Jazz and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.